Yo, what's up, sexy similar squad? It is try hard Thursday, and you see it right, dude. You see it right. You should see exactly what you see. I'm playing Loki. Why am I playing Loki? Uh, because I think it's hilarious to <laughs> start try hard Thursday off with Loki. <coughs> also, you know what else is really funny? Is um well like obviously the matchup is funny because it's like we're jungling it's a jungle matchup but neither of us are actually jungling and on top of that it's funny because i have never seen this player before and i can only assume he's gonna assume i'm a loki main which makes me laugh kind of but like low key maybe i am a low key main Nice. Nice. I 50-50 the buff and just kept hitting him. You know, if I didn't get the buff, at least maybe I get the kill. But not only did I get the buff, I got the kill. So uh, his his mental is in shambles. He'll never he'll never mentally recover from this. In fact, he might have actually just quit the game. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, I think he quit the game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next game. What's up, gamers? I'm back. Game number, I mean, technically game number two, but like, let's be honest. It's kind of game number one. The first game lasted approximately 25 seconds. So I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. But whatever. I'm fighting Cardi GG. Like Cardi B. B. Um, I guess I'll go book. I kind of don't want to, but I don't really have a choice, do I? I also feel like I want beads so that when he alts me, I, I'm not like completely shit on. But also, if I go beads... Like, I could just alt his alt if I'm a good player, right? Do I trust that I'm a good player? Not really. Maybe I just go horrific. And then, like, horn shard, maybe? Golden shard is good. I don't really need the assistance clearing, though, on this god. So I probably just go horn shard. Although, vibrant would be really good, actually. Because. Like, once I get book online, I pop vibrant every time I press one. And my one does, like, infinite damage. That's pretty good. Does he invade this? Thank God he didn't. Um, My audio is far too loud. I can not even hear myself think when I tornado. Surely that clears. Let me turn my audio down. It's not going to turn it down for you guys, but it turns it down for me. Uh, He's got Aegis. Thanks for the mini. Doofus Bozo. All right. Well played. Wait, I don't think you're in a good position here, brother. I think your position is not ideal. Gamer man. Wait, maybe his uh, maybe his position is ideal. Wait, I'm suck. Wait, I'm out clearing. Boom. Oh, okay. Wait, you you are not like healing during this scenario. All right, I do red buff. I don't. I'm not scared, right? Wait, I'm a little scared now. Check 
Oh. Hey, yo. Hold it. Cut you. Nice. Let's go. Let's actually go, dude. All right. Grab the breastplate after the book. First blood is actually sick for me here. It's actually so good for me here. I'm muy excited. All right, hold on. Hachu. Wow, I whiffed the fuck out of that one. <laughs> I can't even be mad, bro. I, I, I just missed everything, brother man. I just missed it all. If I didn't auto, I actually steal that buff there. What is this? What is this? Okay. Never mind, I guess. I really, like, I did not think he could kill me at all there. I had everything up. I just didn't believe in his, his kill potential. But I guess he did go Jotun's first item, right? That item is, like, fucking ridiculous. It's so strong. I'm also a huge believer in the fact that you should not stack early game and duel. And I'm literally sitting here stacking early game and duel because I'm Kukulkan and I feel like it's the only thing I know how to do on this god. It's probably better to go like Bancroft's build. Because you get mana from Bancroft's. Let's still hit him. Definitely got some defense on though. My god, he's uh a little he's a little tankier now, huh? Man gets one kill and turns into the Hulk. I suck so bad. What is this? Wow. Wait, I might die here. But I do die here, I think. Wait, did he Aegis that? Because it said immune. What was immune there? I think I can win this fight, right? Nice. Honestly, not terrible because I confirm red buff here. And he loses some XP and some gold and stuff. Nice. The fact that he didn't back is fucking brazy as fuck. I, I, don't, I don't understand why you would ever not back there. He's like... Nice. I scared him with that. I scared him with that. And now, I mean, he might have alt up, to be honest. Play. 
You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to do my blue. Because I feel like he is looking for an opportunity to slaughter me with his ultimate because I don't have cooldown and he has Jotuns. So his ult is for sure up. I don't want to mess with that right now. I do not want to mess with that. I'm just going to go Polly. I'm going to go Aegis. <clears throat> um, he's going Crimson Claw next. Honestly, not going Shoguns is kind of weird. Not going Shoguns in that situation. Damn. Okay. I don't know what that was. There's nothing up to warrant like like there's no buff on the map to warrant you alting me like that. But, I mean, I guess his ult's down, which is good for my fight, right? Oh. Alright, well, turns out I suck. Wait, why did you just dip your toes into my three? You have your ult up again? That's crazy as fuck! I Aegis this. Now you are in no position to fight. That kills you. That doesn't kill you. That's that's actually disrespectful as fuck. Does he have ult up again? He actually might. Red is spawning. That's really good for me. All right. So another, another situation of like, I guess us both whiffing. Like that's the only way I can think about explaining it. Like he ulted and went hyper aggressive. I then returned alt and went hyper aggressive. Neither of us got the kill, but I'm the one that gets the scepter and the red buff afterwards, which is definitely a positive for me. That poly is starting to hit, baby. That poly is starting to hit, baby. Yeah, look at that damage, dude. Look at that damage. You need to just run. No, he does have alt up. Which I assume will be dropped here. Sprint. Dead. I got him. Yo, that didn't connect. Wait. Wait, how did that not connect? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. My minions will take tower here. I really don't have to do anything. So instead, I'm just going to go farm my blue. Actually, the more optimal route is getting this first and then backing and then going to blue. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to grab Warlocks here. And I am going to double stack and I am going to go Mirrodin now. Because my cooldown's only at 20%. Uh, I do want... Oh, he went... He went Wingblade. I do want the red buff more than the blue buff. So I'm not going to pick up the blue. And I'll just fight for red. If he gets it, you know, it happens. It is what it is, I suppose.
Nice. There's his uh there's his wing blade proc. No more winged blade. Alright. Red buff confirmation. Thank you, Polly. Nice. So I got Scepter here. You're alting a wall for sure. Yep. Yep. You have to do that. You have to make that play. You cannot live without alting over a wall there. I really want to invade blue i'm actually healthy enough to do so the only problem with invading blue means i'm wasting a lot of time not getting my mirrodin online perfect for me all right <clears throat> blue invaded mirrodin acquired And then, let's see, I have... Warlocks is going to give me 10% pen. This is going to give me 10% pen. That's 20% pen. Soul Reaver gives me 10, right? It does not give you any pen anymore. Okay, so... Soul Reaver not giving pen means I don't really want it. Although I will say, I do really want it. Obviously. Oh, uh, you have to alt again, or you're dead as shit. All right, we got alt and sprint there. He thought I went to bold even. All right, let's get this scepter. And I already cleared wave. I don't hear him doing my blue or anything. He's just kind of running around. <clears throat> but the more he runs around... Oh, my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. The more he runs around, the better it is for me. Like, later in the game, I just start smacking, dude. I think I get bold even here. I have alt and Aegis. I don't need to use either, though. Very lucky for me. Want to dip my toe in this speed buff? I really don't want him to get red. He's not getting red. Another lucky for me scenario. Uh, all right. And I think we just be like hyper aggressive now. He has kins, but I don't think that matters much, to be honest. All right. I don't think he knows he does not win these fights at all, dude. Like, at all. Okay, that's not where I placed that. But, you know. Oh well, I suppose. Wait, I got owned. I got owned by the by the silence. Oh shit. 
He was just he was just waiting around the corner, dude. I saw him and I still walked into it. Oh well. Oh well, we got Phoenix. Uh he's going more HP. I feel like even though I don't have a lot of pens, Soryver is still worth it, dude. How much HP do you have? 2800 and that's without the extra toxic blade HP. Like well, I definitely just go Soryver, right? Instead of Rod. Actually, Doomorb goes hard here. I take everything else back. Doomorb goes hard here. Movement speed is going to obliterate this guy. I get movement speed and 10% pen off of Doomorb. That's really good for me here. Nice. I will alt his alt this time, I think. I haven't been doing it because I haven't felt the need to, but like, I might have to this, this time. Okay, never mind. Nice. Nice. GG gamer. GG Gamer. I think that's a really hard matchup for Bologna, to be honest. I think that's a really hard matchup for Bologna. I also don't think that he, he played it uh, super well, just because I feel like Wingblade is kind of completely useless. Like, Wingblade is for... You buy that item when they have to all-in you, because then you have that movement speed after they've slowed you. But... Kukulkin, I can one you, proc your wing blade, and just book it. You know, just run out. Because I get movement speed for my two and from the Doom Orb last item, you know, so uh so yeah. I feel like that was kind of a wasted item. I also feel like Crimson Claw is kind of a really bad item in general. Like if he just got Aussie here, it'd be better. But more than likely, like just go just go. If he goes like Jotun's, Genji's Shoguns. He doesn't need extra life seal because he has the Jotun's Vigor passive that, that gives him 30% ability to life seal when he gets less than 60% HP, right? So, like, you don't need more life seal. Jotun's, Genji's, Shogun's, Kins, and then I hastened. Like, Jotun's, Genji's, Shogun's, Kins, hastened, and he just W keys me. And there's nothing I can do about it. He's double defense at that point. Um, and, like, I, I could maybe alt him. But that's, a, that. I mean, that's another thing too, right? He went sprint. Uh, and I don't think he should have. Doesn't matter. Good game. I'll see you guys next game. What's up, gamers? I'm back. Game number technically three, realistically two. Uh, we're fighting the Charon. Or the Chiron, not the Charon. Uh, what do I, why can I, why can I go Griffin Wing? Oh, I guess it's because I'm a mage. <laughs> Wait, can Al Quag build Griffin Wing? Literally a completely useless item. I mean, fuck it. Now this should curdle some blood. I don't know. It's got decent stats, right? What's up, gamer? It's got decent stats. Like 30 magical power, 15 attack speed, 15 MP5. That's not bad at all, dude. Like, sure, the passive. The passive is completely irrelevant, but it's a cheap item. I'm invading this guy, by the way. Hmm. 
I, mean, I think he actually got his blue there too. I feel like my damage sucks. Like, how did he heal so much? I guess potions. I don't know, dude. I feel like my damage kind of stinks. I kind of, I kind of feel like my damage sucks. I don't know. Maybe Griffin Wing is a bad idea. For me, oh, okay. I do want to say, I did think Griffin Wing was a bad idea. Like from the get go. I thought it was a bad idea. I just thought it might be a little bit interesting. Okay, I did not mean to cancel that. feel about this yeah yeah i don't i can't win a fight This is certainly mine, though. Alright. I mean, I guess it's not too bad, right? Like, my damage definitely stinks. But, as much as it stinks, I'm still, like, holding my own. I'm still, I'm still doing okay, you know? All right, we got triple buff control now, so I'd actually argue we're doing better than okay. We got triple buff control and we got scepter. <clears throat> I really need that Bancroft though, dude. <laughs> I gotta be honest. This, uh, <laughs> this, this Griffin Wing Mama start is not it, dude. It does not feel like it's very, very strong. All right, this should get this pretty quick because I have a bunch of attack speed now. So I got triple buff control. I got first blood. And I got finished Bancrofts. We are officially winning. We're officially winning. I kind of want to blink on him. I don't have a dash up though. Fuck it.
You think he got his treasure chest? Time to find a new vintage. I don't know if he got his treasure chest or not. He did not. Blue is spawning pretty shortly. Oh, wait, I didn't die to him. Oh, I did die to him. I thought he had to get the person that got the last hit, not that I, he just had to be the person that got credit for the kill, which I guess technically is the last hit. When I think about it, that makes sense. But like in my mind, I was like, I didn't die to his alt. I died to a tower shot, so it was fine. But then I got snapped back into reality. Oh, there goes gravity. All right. <clears throat> I've gone wrong. You know what's actually kind of surprising? Is that he... Like, we both have Griffin Wing, right? And it's definitely better for him. But he wasn't winning the trades. I mean, unless I all in, which... I am not supposed to do. I'm supposed to like poke around and find out, but can I get that? Nope. What about this? Pog. 3 XP, baby. Can't just be leaving 3 XP out there like that. Oh, I did not mean to detonate. Oh, you're dead, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I caught his dash. I gotta say, the attack speed feels good. It just feels good. Uh, second relic. I'm obviously thinking of thorns because we're doing some all-in battles that should not be all-in battles and thorns is going to help me win those but obviously horrific is super broken uh i could use you know basically anything Man, that lifesteal just changes things, doesn't it? Oh, I got a shell. Damn, I think that he canceled his dash on accident there, to be honest. I do not think he meant... Like, I stunned him, sure. Actually, no, because I'm not going to mean in my one. He would have died anyways. Right? I am not going to mean in my one. I'm not, like, lying. It doesn't say I'm not going to mean. I thought I was, though. Maybe I'm insane. Oh, no. Maybe I'm thinking of Sukuyumi, too. A completely different channeled ability? I don't know. Boom! 
Isn't immortality fun? Uh, can I get Phoenix in 10 seconds? I feel like no, but damn it, I'm going to try. I can. Wow. Oh, I could kill him again, to be honest. Oh, shit. I was hoping my one would come off cooldown so I could finally test if I was not coming in or not. <clears throat> but I fucked it up. I'm gonna circle around again. Oh. Oh. If I dashed a second earlier, he was dead. Alright, I think I should just back. I got a lot of gold. I got a ton of gold. Dude, he's not going any defense, by the way. Which, you know, obviously is the incorrect play, but... Damn it, it makes him so cool. I can't build defense now either. He, like, that's the thing. He knows. He knows that, like, he's abusing the Sam the Dude effect. Which is, if he does not go defense, I will not go defense. Which is definitely better for him because crit chance exists. And I will get dick slapped by crit chance. However, until this man changes his ideology, I, uh, I have to oblige. Okay, sir. Game on. It is time. For me, a most delectable offering. For me, a most delectable offering. <laughs> all right, we got the full rod upgraded with the glyph and all. I'm coming for you, Chiron. I'm coming for you. I think he is a scared. I mean, I guess he definitely should be, right? Oh, that's attack speed. Holy crap. All right. Do you have wards or something? Wait. I fucked it. I fucked it. <sighs> Do an oboe. I fucked it because I blinked in. And I tried to get... <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. I, I blinked in, I tried to get my stun off, but I just didn't work. Alright. Uh, I kind of want to go Doom Orb again. I want some move speed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mommin, by the way? Dude, you land one stun and they just blow up. Do I, I win off this, right? He's dead for a while. Oh, GG gamer. 
Interesting Griffin Wing start. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. I don't think it's good. I'm upset that I even attempted it. But you know what? It happened. And I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, gamers? Probably going to be the last game of the video. Because I've already been recording for an hour and 10 minutes, apparently. Uh, which doesn't feel like that, but whatever. I'm fighting Exodrol, who is a Masters Border Sukuyumi. Now, it's super early in the reset. So Masters Borders don't mean much because there's only about 10 people who play each god. But it's still cool. It's still a cool thing. So I got to be uh, careful. Now, this is an OP item on Vimana because you get 13 physical power. Like if I were to start, let's say like Jotuns, right? You get 30 physical power and that's it. That's the only stat you get. However, by starting... Oh, I think I just go horrific here, right? By starting with um, this because of my passive, I get 30 physical protection, 15 HP 5, and I get 13 physical power, and I get some attack speed as well. So, like, it's just an all-around insane item. I get all the stats I want. Granted, a low amount, but of every stat. So, it's pretty sick. And I'm probably just going to go first item Berserkers here. Or Phalanx. Like, Phalanx is such a good item. I'm definitely going to get out cleared. Because he's going to obliterate my damage output. Never mind. We cleared at the same time. Did you do red or blue, though? Blue. Interesting. I'm going to face tank his clear because I'd rather him not clear. Obviously. Uh, he's got meditation. I'm going to fight this because I'm pretty sure I can. Nice. So I know he's not going to be in his dash or uh, he's not going to be in his in his stun. But what I did with my dash was basically like I knew obviously he's going to use that stun to try to stun me. And the best way to juke it is to go directly through him. Like there's there's no better way to juke that than to just go straight through him. I have my ult now. So if he ever ults me, he dies. Uh, I got red buff down. I think I'm going to greed a, a little bit more. Like greed this XP camp as well. Which is extremely dumb to do. But I'm a greedy bitch. I don't know what to tell you. And then we just back. If he ults me, I'm fine. I have my ult. Uh, I'm just going to go Berserkers. Phalanx is very good. It gives you 10% attack speed and 21 protection. Or it gives you 30% attack speed and 21 protection from the passive, which obviously is good on Vimana because more protection means more attack speed and defense and damage. Uh, but that's reliant on him like auto attacking me, which, you know, who knows if that's going to work. All right, he's maybe dead here. I'm owning. Okay, maybe he's not dead here. But we got the mannequins. Ooh, balls. Thank you. We got the mannequins. Double buff. You know, I'm only a couple hundred gold up, though. My lead is not insane yet. Uh, do I go Phalanx also is the real question. I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. Like I already, I have 25 power and 1.54 attack speed. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just get to bully the crap out of him, to be honest. I get to I get to do whatever I want to this man. Now I might lose this blue buff. I'm gonna run over to mine to make sure he's not doing mine while I did his. Nice. Meteor. Oh, he just backed. That's good for me. I'll take a just back. I can get the meteor 100% of the time here. Or the, the scepter. Because he can't pick it up while I'm here. And I can knock him out of range and then pick it up. So if you don't know how the scepter works, it's the last person standing in the circle, by the way. If you're wondering who gets to pick it up. It is the last person standing in the circle. So, gods that have displacement abilities, such as Fomana Knockup, always win the mannequins fight. Which is really good. It's actually a super underrated, like, ability of a god to have. Alright, so I now have only 38 power, but that's 38 power with blue buff, 156 protections and 1.62 attack speed. It's actually good. Alright, you did those because you're better than me and you have better timing. Hello. Do you see how fast my attack speed gets? Wait, you're dead. Oh, he ulted me. He's dead. He fucked up. Let's go. So exciting. So exciting. He ulted me and died for it. I love that for me. He hates that, but I love it. Grab the full mannequins here. Thank you. And this is how much? 1,800? I mean, I guess I could look for chests or something. All right, I know where they are. They're back in the corners. Can I just fight you? Is it just cool if we fight? Dude, he can't do anything to me. I'm invincible, dude. I just walk at him. Clear the back line here. Oh, not far enough range. That's fine. He's going serrated next item. That's going to own me. Your middle tower is under attack. I don't know. I can just be so greedy, dude. I can literally be so greedy. I have the... I have, like, the exact thing that people want to have where it's, like... <clears throat> somebody wants to fight you and you're like what are you gonna do kill me you know <laughs> like well like what are you gonna do honestly what are you gonna do kill me prove it prove to me you can kill me wait he proved it wait he didn't prove it I have 3,000 gold, by the way. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. So ridiculous, man. I'm gonna keep Golden Shard for now. I have Hasten, so uh, if we ever get in a little tussle again, it's 
it's over for him. Although he does have serrated, so he might beat my shit in. Who knows? This could be a massively swung fight right now. I've been winning so hard all game, but now he's got serrated, so... I might get clapped. I just took so much damage from his three, just walking around in that. <clears throat> Dude, you get so much bonus XP and, and gold and stuff from just getting scepters. I think that's my fourth scepter I've gotten this game. Which means I've gotten a grand total of like an additional... What is it? It's it's 30 XP and 50 gold. So I've gotten a grand total of like 200 XP, basically. Or no. 120 XP and 200 gold. Just by having pressure. Come here, Sukiyomi. Oh my god, OP. Thank you, babe. Like, what do you do against that, my guy? What do you do against that? I literally just W keyed him. I hit him with 17 autos and Scepter. That's it. And he, and he lost. Well, he didn't lose yet, but he lost the fight. Uh, I think I'm going to go Mystical Mail. The reason Mystical Mail is good is because it gives you HP, which means your ultimate shield is better. Like, it's stronger. Because your shield on your alt is based on percentage HP. And then it gives you uh, protection, which gives you damage. And then it gives you magical damage, which you are not a magical god. So, obviously, that's pretty good. Uh, uh. Oh, interesting. I have something I have to check out. Hello. Hello, gamer. Come to me. Pow. Pow, 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 pow. Dude, 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 what do you, what do you do against it? <laughs> what do you do against that, man? I'm just W keying. You altered me. I ran the other way to get you further away from Phoenix. And then I just W key you under your Phoenix, under your fountain, under your tower, under 14 different minion waves it doesn't matter i just w key gg that was a fun game not for him like he hated it for sure but i had so much fun that game uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace